While webmasters are really welcoming Google's openness towards educating webmasters, um, some feel to an extent that it still requires a degree of guesswork from their part to relay certain facts that they spot in ranking uh, to courses or changes they made to their website. Um, do you think that this perception is valid? And um, will Google's messaging in the future be more explicit and allow them more to translate what we message to them into certain actions? Okay, yeah, that, that's a, a good complicated question indeed. So, of course there's always going to be uncertainty. We have over 200 uh, factors, 200 signals in our ranking, and a lot of these are updated daily. So, changes will happen, and sometimes significant changes. But with that said, there are still two really important things that webmasters can keep in mind. And I think actually two things that we as Google can work on as well. One is doing a better job of helping webmasters understand what are the things they can do to help not only users, but help their presence in Google. Uh, these are things like uh, smartly annotating multimedia and rich media sites, making sure that videos are described well, that there are good title tags for pages that have videos and so on. Uh, a not so good practice or a bad practice might be putting your entire site in flash, navigation and content, uh, because although we're getting better at reading sites, reading flash files, we still have a ways to go. So again, part of what we can do better is essentially teaching webmasters how Google works, how they can be successful in our index. There's a second component that you touched on as well, though, that I think is equally important. And that is, after webmasters have done stuff, they want to have a better understanding of, oh, wait, what happened with my site in Google? Or how can I get more information? How can I actually have some actions that I can take? So I think we've made a lot of strides in that area. Uh, we have the message center within webmaster tools. Uh, we've also sent out emails to webmasters in certain circumstances. Uh, but if you look at it, there's essentially a continuum. Uh, it's transparency on one side and protection on the other side. So as you might guess, there are webmasters out there that are unfortunately trying to spam the index, trying to deceive users, deceive Google. And if we provide too much information on here's what's, what's happened, here's how it affects your site, then these folks could use that to iterate and to create more spam. But I think what's of equal importance to realize is on the other side, on transparency, there are the vast majority of webmasters like, like you guys watching this that are trying to do the right thing, trying to make good content, uh, make good sites for users. And for that reason, we have been moving more and more over towards the transparency part of this continuum, and I expect that we will continue to move more in that direction and to provide more information and specifically more actionable information within the message center and so on. Another source of frustration I often hear about is uh, webmasters saying that they are outranked by websites with questionable content or websites using questionable tactics. Um, and this, of course, particularly upsets webmasters who build Google-friendly websites and thereby help Google to deliver the most relevant results to our users. So what would be the advice that you can give th to these webmasters who experience this? Yeah, that's, uh, that's also a good question. And I can absolutely see how that can be frustrating because you've worked a long time on a site and perhaps it's done really well for a while with your users, with Google, and then something changes and you do find yourself outranked. Uh, some other sites that you may perceive to have not as high quality are ranking above yours in, in our index. So there's a couple things you can look for in a couple of situations that I tend to see in these type of circumstances. One of them deals with accessibility. And that may be something as simple as you re-uploaded an old robots.txt file and you've ended up blocking us from a significant section of your site. And you might think, well, hey, I would never do that. But I've actually found a surprising number of cases in which even large, substantial, experienced sites have done just that. One way that you can tell this sort of a diagnostic, uh, these diagnostic issues would be to go within Webmaster Tools and look both under the robots.txt section and also the crawl errors. Because if we can't crawl something well, we're also not going to be able to understand or rank it well. So that, those are situations that deal with your site specifically. There are also situations, though, that really aren't your fault at all. Uh, there might be cases in which some other sites are using tactics that violate our webmaster guidelines. Uh, they're buying links. Uh, they are engaging in, in web spam type of techniques. 
And in that case, I would really advocate a type of neighborhood watch idea. Uh, just like it works in communities where neighbors watch out for each other and protect the community, so too, uh, as a group of webmasters and with Google, uh, I would welcome you to re file a report within Webmaster Tools on paid links uh, or other spammy issues to say, hey, you know, we're trying to keep this space clean. We're trying to keep an even fair playing ground. And these sites are doing things that are not good for users, that are not good for, for uh, the space on a whole. And we take those reports seriously. We have people that are reading web spam reports, reading the, the uh, paid link reports as well, and taking appropriate action. And so with those two things combined, making sure your site is accessible, making sure also that your site uh, follows our webmaster guidelines. And on the last thing on this topic is that if by chance you find that maybe there's something that your site did in the past, it might not have been something you worked on, could have been a, a previous SEO, that is violating webmaster guidelines. Get that information, perhaps seek some, uh, some advice from others to take a look at your site, clean it up, and then file a reconsideration request. And those also are viewed by, by a team of people here at Google. And we want to get good content back in the index. We want to have content appropriately ranked. So I think over the long haul, these things will work out. What should webmasters pay attention to who plan to uh, make changes to their websites to ensure that they won't experience unexpected major certain changes in their ranking? And these changes could range from small changes such as integrating, integrating some related affiliate content to a major relaunch. What's the advice you have for these webmasters? I, we see this happening a lot where sites are either rebranding or they've added a lot of new content and so they're wanting to move around some of the, the spaces on their website to more effectively present that content to, web, uh, to, uh, to users. So there are two things I'd look at in this context. One is if you're going to be making any kind of changes, particularly with content, I would really make sure to focus on original and compelling content, content that you've created, content that you control. Uh, because we've seen in the past sometimes people think, hmm, I have 50, 60 good pages on my site, but I want a lot more, so I think I'll take this shared content and, and use that to augment the website. And I think at that point you have to ask yourself, am I really adding value with content that users can find on many other sites? This is what I would call shared content. So sometimes we found where webmasters add this type of shared content, it tips the balance over so that more of their content is of this shared variety and less is original and compelling. And sometimes that can cause problems. On a more general sense, I would suggest that if you are looking to make changes in your site, that you do so gradually and cautiously. Uh, one idea that I would recommend in particular is do things a chunk at a time. Take a section of your site and move it over or make those changes because not only do you want to see how Google is going to frame that, you also want to see how will that change affect other search engines or your presence in those other engines. How will those changes affect how your users navigate and how they find things and how they perceive your sites. So doing this in a slow and steady way is bound to be a safer and more effective way of ensuring that your site's presence in Google and your site for users still remains in a positive way. Next, I would like to talk about site migration with you. So the question I received here is, uh, if a website is migrated to a new domain and the webmaster uses a 301 redirection to this new domain, is, does then this new domain inherit the page rank and the authority from the former website? Uh, this is a great uh, companion question to the idea of making site changes. Uh, first of all, 301s are absolutely the way to go. And the good thing about 301s is not only do they present an unambiguous signal to Google and to your users who are navigating from perhaps the old page, but they do appropriately pass both page rank and related signals. So one thing to, uh, to keep in mind in this area, though, is you may want to keep around the old domain for a while anyways, uh, along with those 301s, because there might be some very high quality links that will continue to link uh, to the old site. Uh, so one thing along those lines is you may want to, as you move from one domain to another, or you move a chunk of your site from one place to another, uh, you may want to ask 
those folks who have particularly authoritative links, let's say a major newspaper in Germany has linked to one of uh, the pages in your old domain, ask them if they would be kind enough to update their links, mentioning that it would be good for their readers as well and good for you. Uh, but along those lines, 301 is definitely the way to go. And uh, particularly depending on how often we're crawling our site, they can take effect pretty quickly.